You've described yourself as a fiery, insatiable, and rebellious feminist, as well as a queer woman married to a man. Talk to us a little bit about how your feminism and your queerness intersect with your life as a Buddhist. With difficulty. Um. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Um. <clears throat> I mean, I think feminism in many ways is at odds with traditional Buddhism. And in many ways, the goals are the same. Um, so I think the goals of both are liberation for all people. Um, but the way that they go about it is so different that sometimes it's hard for me, at least, to find a commonality and I feel like I can only be one at a time you know so sometimes it's like in order to actually speak my mind and speak what I I truly believe as a queer woman I have to throw away Buddhism and in order to like fully practice Buddhism I have to like get rid of my feminism like I my brain kind of splits sometimes so it can be quite challenging um, but I, I do think there are, you know, people who have been doing this longer than me who have found ways to to merge them. You know, like Bell Hooks is a great role model for me, um, feminist writer who writes about, you know, love as as radical love, as spiritual practice. So that's something I'm, I'm moving towards and I value. Um, I think um, being queer, it's, it's sort of... It kind of like expands what's possible to me in all situations. So that's what, like, I think I like to think of queer as a verb as well, like to queer something. Um, so if you think about like, what would it mean to queer a heterosexual marriage, right? I'm married to man. So, but I think we have a queer relationship because we don't do things, we've expanded what it means to be a man and a woman. We've expanded and sort of blown apart gender roles in a certain way. So I think for Buddhism too, um, and maybe it's just my personality to be honest. I'm always like, I don't want to do things the way they've always been done. Mm. Like <laughs> yeah, I'm like, I, I want to, I think there's more possibilities. Yeah. Um, so that's what being queer to me means uh, in a lot of ways is like how what are what are the new what are the new iterations and new things that are possible um, that make it so everybody can be living their fullest, most liberated self? Yeah.